What is up, guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you and talking about Vulcanverse. This is a, a beautiful game. It's a blockchain, play-to-earn uh, game. Um, it's like no game I've seen before. This is basically like a Minecraft uh, for adults. I don't want to say adults because adults do play Minecraft as well. But this is, uh, you know, there's there's crypto involved and, and, and play-to-earn and all that involved. And you do have to be a certain age just to get into crypto itself. So you're going to see a lot of the older community in this. And, you know, um, there is money involved. So the concept of this game, basically, you, uh, you're you going to build plots. Or sorry, you buy a plot of land and then you can build up on it just like you do on Minecraft. But the best part about this and the neat thing about this is you actually terraform the entire community terraforms the game. They're the ones that are going to make the map look the way it does. Uh, I think that's just such a crazy and neat idea. Also, um, it's part of like a multiverse where there's other games that connect to this game. They have a game like uh, it's called Berserk. It's a, it's basically like a Hearthstone kind of game, a card game uh, that you're using NFTs. And those NFTs are your Vulcanites, which tie into this game. So there's just so many things. And there's other games as well that are included in this that tie into this game. So there's just so many different things that uh, this game brings to the table. And I love it. And this is something I will be a part of. I do want to get a plot of land. I do want to get to know the community. I do want to play the game. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is something that you will be seeing me either stream on my Twitch channel, uh, which is twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. I will put a link below um, for you to click on. Make sure to hit that follow button and make sure to come by and say hello. Let me know if you play. Uh, what quadrant are you from? So this is split up into four quadrants. You pick kind of your, you know, it's like your realm pride. Um, you know, and you get some little friendly, you know, jabs back and forth. You know, you have your pride and, and, uh, I think it's really, really, really neat. So what I wanted to do in this video was basically show you guys some of the beautiful art that these, this clever, clever people made. Like, again, like I said, the community is what builds the map. So you buy the plot, you build it however you want. And I'm going to show you how creative some of these people got today. So with that being said, let's go. All right, so here's the first, look at this. Look at this beautiful spot we just came up on. Okay, so this is one of the first ones I want to look at. Look how beautiful this is. Somebody literally, look at this. This is people that have created this out of their imagination. This is what they've built. They made this look like this. The game, when you get it, when you see it, looks like this, okay? Plot of land. This here is a plot of land, all right? And look at this. This is what people come up with. So you, a lot of people, what a lot of people do is they'll buy like one or two plots of lands beside each other or four of them in like a square like this and it gives them more room to build and you can build across your own plots and connect them. But look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Somebody literally came up with that. That is phenomenal. What a beautiful plot of land. They put the trees. Look, I love how they did this. I love how they did this. I love how... They did this, and then they kind of made a little platform up there. Now, in the beta, or what we're in right now, the testing, we can push Q, and it can bring us up in the air like this, okay? When the game is up and live, you won't be able to do that. Let's go take a look at this. This is beautiful. This is... This is beautiful. Look at this. So somebody created this. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? I love this. I absolutely love this. Look at this. Look at this. That is crazy. Um, let's see who that is. Let's see who that is. Faceless. Faceless. That is beautiful, man. If you're seeing this video, Faceless, uh, this is absolutely beautiful. I love that. That is probably my favorite one I've seen so far. Um, and this too. Look at this. This is cool. This is just cool. Look at this, man. People's creativity. That's what I love about this game. You're going to start being able to see people's creativity. Um, this is amazing. Oh, is it Faceless as well? No, who is this? Beautiful job, man. Beautiful job, man. Amazing. Amazing. So... Like I'm saying, guys, you can walk around. So these are all dif uh, different plots of land. Again, this is still an, this is alpha testing. Okay, this is alpha testing, um, but this is beautiful. So you walk around. Look at that, man. You walk around. Look, imagine this. Okay, you're walking around your game. You have no idea what you're gonna see next because you literally it's whatever people want to put on their land. It's whatever their imagination brings them. So you're walking around, all of a sudden you come up to this. How cool is that? 
How cool is that, man? That's what I love about this game. So, yeah. So, here we go. So, let's look at some more stuff. Okay. So, you're walking around the map again. There, When the game comes out, everyone's having their lands. You buy your plot of land, okay? And nothing is built. The community builds this game. The community builds the map. The community builds what the world looks like. So, you're walking around and you see this. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? That's this man or woman's creativity coming to life in a game. This, to me, is the future of gaming. This is phenomenal, and I love that. And this is what I want to be a part of. This is amazing. Faceless. Faceless. Owner. Faceless. Great job. Amazing job. Amazing job. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Look at this. That is absolutely beautiful. This is what I love about this. Again, like I, you're going to be hearing me say this a lot of times. You're going to hear me say this a lot. How beautiful, how amazing this is. I'm just walking around. Just I'm literally walking around the map looking at random spots. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking across the map. And whatever I see is what you're going to see. These beautiful plots just like this, man. Amazing. Wild Vulcanite. Buddy, that is awesome. Again, when, when Wild Vulcanite bought this plot, it looked like this, okay? This is what it looked like. And now it looks like this. That's amazing. Just off of his own creativity and imagination. And I love that. I think it's phenomenal. I think it's phenomenal. Look at this. So again, guys, you're walking around, just minding your business. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So, so imagine this, okay? The game gets released. All these plot, plots of land are now taken, okay? And everywhere you go, you're going to see something cool like this. And you just don't know what you're going to see simply because it's based on the owner's, the owner of the plot's imagination. So you literally have no idea what you're going to see next. And you can just literally roam around and just see this cool stuff like this. Now, there is a purpose of the game. It is an MMO game. There's Vulcanites, and you're gathering material, and you're going to have quests and stuff like that. So there is more to the game than just walking around and looking at things. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, this in itself, just going around looking at the builds, is a game in its own. I'm enjoying this. I'm going around enjoying this, just seeing how creative people are and seeing what they've built. But yeah, absolutely, there is a game uh, to this as well and like i was saying with the multiverse there's uh berserk which is a card game um there's you know chess game there's a bunch of games that are connected to this uh which is just phenomenal it is a crypto game and an nft game and and, and the beautiful part of it is what you do in other games can connect into this games the items you get in other games you can use in this game or vice versa um which is all part of uh the multiverse in this which is just it's amazing it's just a, such a great um and futuristic idea and i love it Look at this. Amazing. Like this, this to me is beautiful. Okay. This to me is beautiful. Just how they use the rocks around the building and stuff. And absolutely beautiful. I love this. What I can't wait for, what I can't wait for is when the game is released and I'm seeing all these plots of land have something like this or like that or like that. Look at this. Look at this. That's what I can't wait to see. What the product looks like once everyone has their plots and everyone's building on them. Amazing. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Blows my mind how creative people are. Blows my mind how people can think of something like this and put it to work and make it work. Uh, I'm not that creative, and I think that's why it, it amazes me so much, is I'm not that creative. I could not come up with that in my mind. I could not come up with that, not 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 alone, let alone in my mind, but actually put it to work and put it on paper and put it into, into the game. Um, this blows my mind, uh, just how amazing this is. This is somebody that put this together, like you and me watching this right now. This is somebody that put this together, and uh, man, I just, like, again, I can't wait to see... Um, how creative people get with this. This is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. All right, what do we have here, guys? So, uh, again, I don't know the map. I don't know where anything is. I'm just kind of running around. And whatever I come across, I'm going to show you whenever I see something cool like this. This is amazing. Like, this is... 
It seems so basic, yet look how crazy this is. This looks like two swords to me. I, I could be wrong, but that looks like two swords to me crossing. Uh, even just the way the trees are planted and the plants and the water. And this is, this is just, so, this is so cool to me. This is so cool to me. This, this is beautiful. Um, this is beautiful. Who, who did this? This is, uh, does that say Viva? Viva Vulcan. Viva Vulcan. This looks beautiful to me. It seems simple, but it's not. Like, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at that. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Um, absolutely incredible. All right, check this one out now. Look at this one here. We are at, I believe this is Perditor. Is that how you say that? Beautiful. Made a little island. I'm going to run around on his little island here, or her island. Um, this is so cool, man. You can add water to it, trees, mountains, whatever. He's got his neighbors. Look at this right here. What's this? Look at this. Amazing. Oh, look at this. We got some... Oh, look at this. Yo, you, you want to watch out on this land. You might want to watch out... You don't want your head on one of these spikes. You might want to watch out on this land. You don't want your head on one of those spikes. Yo, look at this, man. Very cool. Again, like I've said a few times already, just wait until all of this land right here has something built on it through people's imagination and whatever they want to put. You got tall buildings like this. You got plots like this where it's just trees and water. And you got plots like I showed before. It's whatever you want to put on it. All right, what do we got here? We got something else here. This is cool. We got a building with kind of like the earth kind of built overgrowing it a little bit. The earth's up top. I like that. I think that's creative. Um, you know what's funny? I can't even tell sometimes if this is part of the game or a creator's imagination. Like, this could very well be a building that was designed into the game um, that I could be showing you, you know? It's, it's just, look at this. This is amazing to me. Th that, to me, is creative. How you see how I have, like, the earth kind of, like, over top of the building. I love that. I, stuff like that impresses me, man. Uh, Sheka 06. I'm assuming this is Sheka 06. This very well could be part of the game. And, I, you know, I'm showing you a, a building that's part of the game. Uh, I believe this is Sheka 06. This is beautiful, man. I love this. Very creative. Very creative. Very creative. Look at that. Very creative. I love it. I love that. I love that. Well, 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 look what we have here. Look what we have here. Walter Chambers. So I actually know this man in real life. He lives down the road from me. We've known each other for about four or five years now. Uh, he is actually the one that got me interested in the game and involved with it. Uh, he was talking to me about it. And I, and I love NFTs and, and, and crypto and all that stuff. And I love the idea. And, and here we are because of Walter. So let's let's take a look at what he built here. Okay, Walter. Okay. You have like my kind of imagination. Let's just say it like that. You have my very, you know, a square. Keep those lines straight. Doesn't look like anything like that. But it's you're getting there. Uh, dude, it looks great. So, all right, let's go inside. Look at this. Actually, this is pretty cool, man. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool. I'm going to take a seat. Let's just take a seat right here. Let's just take a seat right here. And let's see what's going on. This is actually, you know what? Never mind. I want this seat. I want this seat. Let's see, this is my seat. This is my seat right here. Get to watch. This is actually pretty cool, man. You know what? Maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, this is really cool, actually. He did a really, really, really good job. Uh, I like this. This is where we could have like Vulcan, a Vulcanite, like a uh, Coliseum type battles. You know what I mean? Meet here. Have some Coliseum type battles in the middle. I like that. Uh, very, very cool, man. Very, very cool. I actually like that. He did do a good job. He is more creative than me. He is more creative than me. I was trying to find someone that I could be a little more creative than. I thought this was my chance. But, uh, you know what? Uh, no. 
he's he's more creative than I am. So you know what? I still got to find that person that maybe I can make that, that I'm a little more creative than. But no, great job. Uh, this is actually pretty awesome, dude. Um, yeah, very awesome. So this is the man right here that actually got me into the game. And uh, very thankful for that. Uh, very cool job, man. And again, I can't wait till this game gets released. And uh, yeah, and see, see what happens here. This is awesome. All right. Now, here's the thing. Now I come up to this, okay? I legitimately can't tell if this is part of the game, like made by the devs, or if this is somebody's. Like, this is... It says Twisted Tinker. Like this to me. Like that. That to me is it, it could easily just be made by the devs and part of the game. And But it says it's made by Twisted Tinker. Man, like this is. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is amazing. This is what I'm talking about. Phenomenal job, man. I mean, I, this is amazing. Look at that. To me, this very well looks like it'd be part of the game. Just put into the game. You build around this. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I'm still trying to, by the way, I'm still trying to find somebody that I can build be that, that is not as good of a builder as I am. Uh, haven't found one yet. I haven't found one yet. But we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, these guys and, and girls are absolutely incredible at this. Amazing. Look what we have here. This is Rafiki. Look at that, man. Even built into the ground. So that's another thing too. You can actually go, you can build under, you can build up. Awesome. Look at that, man. The D it's the detail. Look at the detail, the attention to detail. Look at that. Rafiki. Awesome job, my friend. Awesome job, my friend. Look at that. Awesome job. Yo, this is cool. Look at this. 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 Who is this? Oh, is it Rafiki again? Is that Rafiki again? Yo, that's really cool. Yo, that is really cool. Look at that. Look, there's Rafiki. Yeah, that, yo. There's Rafiki's other one I just showed you. That is cool. I like that. It's like a floating island. How sick is that? How sick is that? That is really cool. That is clever. That is really clever. I like that. That is really cool. Yeah, well, that is cool. All right, guys. So that is uh, just a quick look. It's not the entire game. It's just a quick look. Again, this is an alpha testing. It's not released yet. Um, the game looks great. The game looks really great. And again, the creativity was just absolutely amazing. So this is something I'm definitely going to be messing around with. I will be streaming it once, uh, you know, once the game's live and all that stuff. I do want to be a part of the community. Um, let me know below what quadrant are you part of? What are your thoughts on the game? Are you looking forward to playing it? Do you have any questions? Um, they have a really, really, really good community built in. And, uh, again, if you like Hearthstone or, or, or other games like that, they have a game called Berserk, which is free to play. It uses NFTs and all that stuff as well. Um, th there's just so many possibilities and so many opportunities for this game. And uh, again, I will be a part of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what to do. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Hit that follow button. And I hope to see you on my Twitch channel as well, uh, where you will find me there uh, six nights a week. So I hope to hear from you soon. I'm out of here. Peace.